Welcome back to Maths in an Empty Classroom with me, Mr Sun. This is part three of the lesson on inclined planes and in this video I'm going to be going through an example where in addition to uh, the weight friction there is another force acting on this particle on this inclined plane. Uh, so here we go, we have a mass uh, of four kilograms. Uh, it's pulled up a rough plane inclined 10 degrees to the horizontal by means of a light rope. The rope is parallel to the line of greatest slope of the plane uh, and the tension in the rope is 35 newtons. Uh, if the coefficient of friction between the particle and the plane is one quarter, find the acceleration of the particle up the plane. Right, let's start labelling some information. I've got this particle which has a mass of four kilograms. I'm told that it's inclined at 10 degrees to the horizontal and it's being pulled up the slope by means of a light rope. So I can draw that in there. Um, the rope is parallel to the line of greatest slope of the plane. So it's parallel to the plane, that means, which is a result because it means no resolving. Um, and the tension in the rope is 35 newtons. So I'm going to label that 35 newton force on here. Uh, and the final thing I'm told is that the coefficient of friction is one quarter. So let's put that there. Uh, and I'm also just going to note that the acceleration is up the plane parallel to the plane. And acceleration here is what we're trying to find. Right, so let's think about the forces that are acting on this particle then, in addition to that 35 newtons we've already got labelled. Right, we've got its weight going down, which is going to be 4g. We've got a normal reaction force, R, which is acting perpendicular to the slope. Um, and we're going to have a force of friction as well. Now remember that friction opposes motion, so if it's accelerating up the plane, the frictional force is going to be going down the plane. And because the particle is moving, friction is going to be taking its maximum value. Okay, next thing I need to separate this weight into its component parts, perpendicular and parallel to the plane. So let's draw in the perpendicular one, and let's draw in the parallel one, using dashed lines to show that they are components. Now, that angle in there, that is going to be 10 degrees. Uh, it's the same as the angle of the slope. So, resolving this one, the perpendicular component uh, is going to be 4g cos 10. And the parallel component is going to be 4g sin 10. Now that I have all the forces labelled and I've resolved this into perpendicular and parallel components, I'm ready to start solving the problem. First thing I'm going to do is to resolve perpendicular to the slope by considering all the forces uh, like so. So, resolving perpendicular to the plane. I've got this reaction force R, which is going to be equal to 4G cos 10. which is the perpendicular component of the weight. Uh, so I can get a numerical value for R now, uh, remembering that in maths we use G is 9.8. So my value for R, my reaction, is 38.6. And I'm now going to use that to find out the value of friction using the equation F equals mu R. Now I know that mu is one quarter because I was given that in the question. So if I work out one quarter of 38.6, uh, I get the value of friction to be 9.651. So now I've resolved perpendicular and I've found the value of friction. I'm ready to resolve parallel to the plane to find out the acceleration. Now, remember what I said about taking a ruler or a straight edge and just sliding parallel to the plane and taking into account all these forces. I've got a 35 Newton force here, I've got a friction force here, but carry on going to the one that everyone always forgets, this 4G sine 10, which is also going down um, the slope here. So now when I'm doing parallel to the slope and I'm using my resultant force equals mass times acceleration, the force in the direction of motion is 35. Now I'm going to have to take off, in addition to the friction, 
9.651. I'm also going to have to subtract this parallel component of weight, which is 4g sine 10. And that is going to equal mass multiplied by acceleration. So mass of 4 multiplied by acceleration. So I can now work all this out as a number. So 35 minus my friction minus 4 times 9 times sine 10 comes out as 18.54 equals 4a. So dividing by 4 and rounding to three significant figures, I get that the acceleration is 4.64 meters per second per second. So pretty much the same as before. Resolve perpendicular to find the reaction. Use that to find friction. Resolve parallel to find the acceleration. And do not forget the weight component down the slope. People do it. Don't be one of them. Thanks for watching.